Welcome to Build with A&E. So what we're going to be doing is doing the flat roof. It's going to have a layer of a breathable membrane called Alitrix. The only thing I'm going to actually talk about is all the multiple falls that we've got on this flat roof. Will's going to go into the Alitrix and go into the system, how it's all going to be installed. Here at the moment, I've marked this decking up to show all the relevant falls that we've got on this flat roof. We've got falls coming this way, we've got falls coming this way, we've got falls coming down this long edge here. What we've done to work all the falls out, if you can imagine, we're gonna have an outlet over here. So all the falls finish at this point here. That's where the gully's gonna come out, the hopper's gonna be here, and all of this water's gonna come out at this exit point. We've gone from the highest point over there, at the very center of that lantern, we've got two falls. We've got one going that way and we've got one going this way. Okay, and I've highlighted that with the blue markers. So what happens then from that point then, the fall comes to then to the next highest point. Uh, what we've then done from this point here, you can see then the water is going to run down that way with the fall of the actual arrows. I don't want the water holding on this back and you don't want it to then fall that way but then stay in the corner. Every furring strip that then goes on has a certain amount of measurement then taken off it and the fall goes that way and then obviously the water that falls down this way and cascades in, it then comes to this point. At this point and this point here, we've got a fall line and then it falls this way. But then on top of that, that we've got then the water falling away from this lantern here that's coming to this way. And then this is then falling this way then to the actual outlet point where it's here. Because this is going to be a warm roof application, we're going to put the breather membrane in and the system that we love using is called Alitrix 600 Vapor Barrier. The Alitrix 600 actually will remain waterproof for at least three months. So when you're obviously thinking you're trying to get a little bit of a building watertight, put the Alitrix then through and then it stops any water penetration then going into your build. Just before we start laying down the Alitrix, I just want to talk about the primer first. Now this primer that we're using is FG35. One of the things we've got to do is give it a very good stir. And then once we've done that, we're going to have to apply it and we're going to give it 40 minutes to dry in preparation for us to put down the Alitrix. To mix it, I'm going to use this bit of timber that Pete's kindly fabricated for me. And then to apply it, I'm going to use this long roller. Right then, what we're going to do, I'm going to start applying this primer now. I'm going to start from this point here and I'm going to work my way around that way and I'm going to work my way down there because we don't want to get stuck on the roof. Right, so when I'm doing the primer, I'm going to prime up to the top of the parapet here, just to the top of this brickwork. I'm then going to prime to the top of this upstand here and then up to this course along here. What I'm going to do first is the upstands. Get a nice good coat on it. You don't want to see any little gaps. There's a tiny little gaps in there. Let's make sure we get every one of them. And don't be shy with it. So let's put a bit more on there and we'll prime it again. Let's get it every, make sure you get every little bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to start in this corner here and then we're going to work our way around and around that way there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the flat first. So get all this flat area done and then we're going to work on the detail and getting all the upstands done. So the first bit we want to get on is in this corner here. So I'm going to do it this way, 110. So we know the gap is 600. So we want to come a bit bigger. So we want to go past this corner here. So let's say we're saying 50 mil. I'm going to give it a little bit more. We'll cut it at 700. Right then, so then we come over to this, 700 mil. So this is obviously the top bit. If you look underneath, you see we've got some tape on it. Now we're going to leave that on, but tight against there. 
and we're tight against there in that corner there. So what we want to do now is we want to put a fold into this bit here, to the bottom of this upstand. Nice and tight as you can get it. Nice crease going in there, which is following along the upstand here. So we're going to get a line there where we want it. So the first thing I want to do is going to cut it. I'm still, I'm not taking any tape off yet. Right, and that's to our point there. A little bit more, tiny little bit, like that. And now this bit here, it's going to drop down. Now we've got this bit here. So I'm not going to use my scissors, because obviously we have to lift it up and all things like that. So an easy way to do this, you get your straight blade, and all we're going to do is going to put your finger on that so it doesn't move, and we're just going to follow that line. And that comes off like that. So if you're looking at that now, that's a perfect, and it should stick really well. We've decided on doing this bit first. So we've always got to remember this is really sticky stuff, so you've got to be careful with it. If this stuff goes down, it's not coming back up again. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So from the middle. So we're gonna work it, push it out, push it out. See the crease? Push it out. See the bubble as I'm pushing it? See it disappears? Just like that, nice and smooth. Right, so that's one side done. Let's get on the other side. So the first section stuck down. I'm gonna peel a little bit. I'm gonna stick a little bit. Just using my hands, nice and smooth. Peel a little bit more. Okay, so from the middle. There, it's always handy. Get a brush, brush out any of them bits. We're working from this low point here. This is our low point. So the next bit I've got to go, it's got to go on top of this. I couldn't put a piece in here first and then put a piece on top because what that creates is a lip and then water can then get caught in that lip and there's a chance of it getting underneath, and we don't want that. So we're working our way around this way here. So we said we're gonna give ourselves 100 mil laps. Again, you don't have to, it's 50 mil minimum. Okay, so same as this one before. So I've got this seam roller, so what you want to do is, obviously this is the lap, so this is the point where you've got to worry about water's getting in. Let's give this a good roll with this. This is the key part of it, is getting these laps stick. So now we've got the flat down. The next thing we've got to do is get these flashings on, these upstands. So I'm going to start from this corner here. So let's get a measurement. So we're giving ourselves 100 mil onto the bottom. So that's 350 upstand, 100 mil on, is gonna be 450 mil. get it nice and tight in a corner like that. So what we'll do is we'll then get this flat. We're gonna work it in like that, see it? And what this is now creating is a thing called a pig's ear. So once you get that in nice and tight like that, so there you go, if you have a look here, you can see this pig's ear that we've got now. If you look at that, we're gonna close this up now. We're gonna stick this to there, like so. There's our first flashing in. Run this all over it, just to make sure. We've got this coming around this corner here, so we've got 100 mil. So what I've done is I've measured 100 mil from my crease line here, 
That should now give me my perfect 45 degree angle. I'm cutting it down this way here. So I'll get my amazing scissors. Check where I'm going around the back there because we don't want to go too far. Top stuck, like we've done on everything. Let's peel it back a little bit. Going to use the roller on this bit just to get this round. So this bit here, this is where that pig's ear was. It's all covered over now. Nothing's going to breach this edge here. We've got a circle flashing on the corner down here. So now going to have another flashing coming onto here, which will then cover this bit down the bottom here. So now that we've got this done, the next thing that we're going to do is going to be laying some 120 mil insulation board on top of this, which we'll be gluing down. And then on top of that, we're putting on some resi tricks. Mm -hmm. 